Hello guys, this is Ryo69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, on this video I'm going to give you my thoughts for issue number 2 of the miniseries The Death of X. Check out this cover. This is uh, the other variant, variant cover that connects with issue number 1. Check out. Check it out. I like it. Really nice. Okay, to the story. Okay, the story starts that uh, Storm from the X Men she goes to the headquarters of the of the Inhumans, as we can see here. So the thing is that they are talking. They, they say, "Look, the intelligent is killing mutants," and Medusa she says, "Well, that's impossible because when they release the cloud." They knew, uh, they, and they told the world that the cloud will not affect or will not get no human or mutant sick. Nothing at all. And then suddenly, this is what's going on. A bunch of dead mutants. So they don't know what's going on. So, so Storm goes there thinking, you know, talking to Medusa. And Medusa, she's kind of suspect of her visit. And the reason is that, well, she went there uh, while she was talking to Medusa, tried to, to discover maybe that she was lying by looking at her body language or the way that she would answer to figure to see if, you know, if she can cut her full hands, you know? So the thing is that, well, she figured out that Medusa, she's not lying uh, because the X-Men believes that the human released the cloud with the knowledge that eventually Pluton will affect the humans, uh, inhuman, the mutants, the X-Men, and humans that they release it in purpose. Kind of, well, this is our chance to get rid of the humans and the X-Men, so the world will be only by humans. That's what Storm believes in Cyclops. Now, well, so once the, that they start, that they stop talking, actually, the interrogation, <laughs> so suddenly everybody gets kind of like a brain wave, a mind wave, I don't know how to express it, is when so Cyclops got ev got into everybody's mind to the whole population of planet Earth. Every human on planet Earth is getting the message from Cyclops. Now the message is all oh, you know about the intelligence that is that they are two clouds. Yeah. That's the thing, it's not only one, there are two different clouds. So it's kind of like if one is on the Atlantic, the other cloud is on the Pacific. Kind of. So, so his message is that the humans that you know that that cloud's been released and it's not supposed to get sick, no human and no human. But the clue is the human, the humans have lied to you and to us. We found a bunch of mutants dead because of the intelligent. We found a couple of human beings dead by the intelligent cloud. So whatever the humans have told us, it was a lie. So according to Cyclops, the intelligent actually is killing mutants and humans, but more mutants than humans. So the cloud is going, is in the direction to Spain. So there we see the new kid. So we see not the new kid, but we see a couple of humans trying to stop the cloud that is going to Spain, to, to the capital, to Madrid actually. So, so we see him there trying to kind of like to stop the cloud reaching Spain, or in this case Madrid. So we see that Storm shows up and she starts giving them a hand. 
to drive the cloud away from Spain, which actually did. Now, remember all those dead bodies that we saw in issue number one? Well, there they are being buried. Well, they already been buried. So, so we see Colossus looking at all those dead bodies. So nobody actually knows. So we see Colossus and talking with a snowflake about what's going on. So from there we, we see that Cyclops and and what's her name? Uh, and Emma went into they went in, inside the lab trying to find a way to stop or a cure for the intelligent cloud. As we can see there. So now now Cyclops now he just spread around the world that the humans, they lied to us. Now the humans are the bad guys. Without Cyclops knowing by fact whether or not the cloud is responsible for all those deaths. So I know that some of you sometimes, look, Cyclops is one of my, I really always like the character of Cyclops, but there are times that, oof, and today on, on this book, this time is not one of them. <laughs> so the thing is that they're trying to figure out how, what to do. The thing is that we see that we see Magri that everything is in panic by the message that Cyclops sent. So by Cyclops sending that message to everybody's mind around the globe, well, he makes everybody go crazy. So everybody is in panic. Uh, so everybody doesn't know what to do, what to say, where to be, or where to go, or where to stay. Actually, everybody's running around like a chicken without a head. Kind of, more or less. So the thing is that, that she tells the new kid from the cocoon that has a white mohawk. Well, he told the kid, look, I need you to make everybody of the city of Magri, of Magri, to fall asleep, all of them, the whole population, just make them fall asleep, so that way they will not kill themselves by running around and and they panic and all that. So the kids say, "Well, look, this is too much. I don't know. I just got my powers. I don't know if I can do it." And she says, "Do it." So he's doing it. The thing is that from there we see that Emma is talking to somebody. Over here. I'm not going to show you the last panel because, well, it's a surprise. As we can see there, she's talking to me. Say, look, uh, I then maybe by now you know what's going on, and also you might figure out that mutants and the humans we cannot, we cannot coexist together. Uh, so actually, I'm going to need your help. And she's asking help from, yep, that's the guy she was talking to. She's asking Magneto to help. Yep. So, that's the end of the story. She's asking the help from Magneto. And Magneto says, well, I'm always happy to help. And that's the end of issue number two. Well, I have to say that issue number two got a lot better than issue number one. Issue number one was a little bit slow, I guess. It was interesting. But this one, to me, I like it more. Oh yeah, I like it more. Uh, at least I know there is a direction where, where the story is going and all that. And I'm going to say like, I also like this cover too. Check that out. And I would give it four out of five. But it was good. It was fun. What can I say? Uh, and that's it, guys. Four out of five. Well, guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.